Stage two of the ladies' tour of Norway saw the UCI Women's World Tour Peloton prepare for what they knew would be another hilly, aggressive day in the rolling countryside to the southeast of the country's capital, Oslo. There was plenty of local support for the peloton, but some of the riders thought this might be another day for the breakaway. Yeah, I think uh, it looks like the year of the breakaways this year, so actually it's hard to control, you know. So yesterday we saw that as soon as you have a strong rider in the breakaway, then you always have to pay attention and you can't let them go. We are looking for breakaways because actually we cannot win. Uh, there are a couple of sprinters that we cannot sprint over them. So we're looking for breakaways, but later for a bunch sprint, we have our cards also with Alison today. Overall leader Kristen Faulkner made sure the yellow jersey was near the front as the race rolled out for 145.2 kilometers of tough racing between Ashim and Misen. And as with the opening stage, it was all action from the flag, with Claudia Ljongerais trying to get away. However, the race stayed together until it had a good look at the finishing line in Misen, with stage one winner Faulkner taking the honours at the intermediate sprint. Then, two strong French women were up the road to contest the day's only classified climb, Aude Bianique taking maximum points ahead of fellow Breton Audrey cordon Rigaud. Across the dam at Solbergfoss, and the gap was coming down quickly, and shortly afterwards, on the back of work from her Jumbo Visma team, Rayana Marcus launched a move. The bunch seemed happy to let the 26-year-old Dutchwoman get away, and she was soon with the leaders, making three at the front with 38 kilometres to go. As the kilometres disappeared behind the wheels, the sprinters' teams came to the front in an attempt to bring the trio back and to pick up the remaining points at the intermediate sprint. Like stage one, with just over 20 kilometres remaining, only one rider was left at the front. Marcus alone, after both Coran Regot and Bianique dropped back, the peloton closing in for what seemed like the inevitable bunch sprint. But some 12 kilometres later, Marcus entered the local lap with a lead which had grown to nearly one minute. We couldn't really see a repeat performance of stage one, could we? In the bunch behind, it was battle stations as the sprinters' teams could see the winner riding away from them. Team DSM were one of the squads there in numbers as they desperately tried to close the gap. But the Dutch rider didn't look back, riding as hard as she could, holding her position on the bike as well as she held her lead. 100 metres to go and Marcus knew she had made it. Out of the saddle she climbed up the final straight and over the line to an emotional first UCI Women's World Tour victory with her sister, one of the first to congratulate well, her. Yeah, it's like a dream coming true. Yeah, it was so amazing to uh, yeah, finish it off. And you know, uh, you think so many times during that solo, like, oh, I wish I could make it to the finish line and then you finally make it and then you see your sister and yeah, you think so many times about your family and also the team of course, so yeah, it was really unbelievable. I didn't want to believe it until I reached the finish line because I had it before that I was caught uh, 20 meters before the finish line in Elsie Jacobs where I was uh, solo for a really long time, so I didn't want to believe in it until I was there, but uh, yeah, it was a really hard fight. <laughs> Uh, I think it's a, quite a big disappointment after yesterday again, so uh, yeah, it's something we need to discuss and, and talk about. Yeah, we get it back to 30 seconds and then it stops, and then get it back to 30 seconds and it stops, so yeah, the, I don't know what else to say about that. Two seconds was the lead Marcus had over second place Corinne Rivera. Alison Jackson was third ahead of Elise Chabé, Sanna Kant and Lucinda Brand, with overnight leader Kristen Faulkner routing out the top ten. Kristen Faulkner was awarded the yellow jersey after the race, but after a revision by the race jury, Rihanna Marcus now leads the overall general classification by two seconds, with Faulkner slipping one place to second, Corinne Rivera in third, and Alison Jackson fourth ahead of Lucinda Brand and Sanna Kant.